everybody, welcome to my channel, and it is, um, Maniology Redemption Day, okay? <laughs> I kind of, I really felt bad for what I said. Um, just because I didn't like something doesn't mean you won't like it. I still stand by this yellow being not great for stamping, but aside from that, it's a beautiful color, and it will go on your nails. The blue, gorgeous color, stamps fantastic plates always pick up fantastic love them my issue was <laughs> I didn't like their designs but you know what that is um, subject to personal preference not um, you know my opinion versus your opinion and I didn't really get any flack for it I mean nobody everybody understood and they were happy that I gave an honest review and I will continue giving honest reviews regardless if I mean, I've had um, companies ask me to review things before, um, and I wasn't happy with the product, and I told them about it, and they said, well, don't even review it then. Um, those are the kind of people that I will not review for. Maniology, there's no doubt in my mind, um, if there's something I don't like, they're okay with that, and they're okay with me saying so, as long as it's done in a respectful way. Um, they are very big on respecting women and empowering women, and I'm all for that too. And I really appreciate you guys' support and um, all the great comments. Um, aside from that, these are some cool plates. They just There's some cool stuff on there. They're just not a lot that is for me. So, um, that being said, let's go back to this, this one here. Now, they said that it, it is a... It looks like... They said it, somebody said it was an apple. Looks to me like a cherry. So right there's the stem. Zoom in as, fast, as high as I can get there. There's a little leaf here. And if it was in a reverse and you stamped it and colored it in, it would look different. Um, so the bunny rabbit is picking up over the side of that apple. And then there's some blossoms up there. These plates are actually their interpretation uh, of Chinese New Year and that was pointed out to me too. I really appreciate you guys' feedback. On my nails, isn't that pretty, is batting practice from Brave Steven Nail Polish. We're gonna do a little bit of shrinking and I'm gonna use um, straight up black. Now when you're shrinking, you really need to have like a smushy, marshmallowy, not clear because clear stampers are going to tear on you. So what I'm going to use is this, um, and I was like a galaxy from Born Pretty Marshmallowy when they came out and it's sticky, it's a sticky stamper. So I'm going to show you how to pick up and shrink an image. So this one here is a pretty good size, too fat for my nail. Now I'll pick it up and put it on my stamper pad here and then shrink it and show you how. Now to shrink it. You're going to take your stamper and you're going to fold it up like this so that it looks kind of like a cross. Make sure it's even. and up and down. And then you see when I flip it over, it is smaller. I mean, that was kind of an extreme shrink. I didn't really need to shrink it that much, but I just wanted to show you how you do that to an image. You can also do the same thing and stretch it. Now you would be putting those on a mat and making a decal and I showed you in another video of beginners on how to make decals. So you do the same thing, you pick it up and you shrink it or stretch it or just pick it up like normal. Okay. And then to stretch it, say maybe you wanted that short one taller because your nails are really long. You would only stretch it this way and you could make it longer, taller, 
You can do that with pretty much any image. You do have to be careful with, um, you know, what's going to distort. Generally, when it's just like something like this, um, a feather, you know, you can make that longer or um, same thing if you picked it up and you went to go stick it on your mat and you did this to make it bigger. So you'll be stretching it. Let me pick an image up and show you that. Okay, and you would um, stretch it bigger like this and put it on. See that dark color? I don't know, I think it's a reflection. It's a panda for sure. <laughs> All right, enough about this plate. I mean, I probably will use this plate for that and that and, that, and the feathers that will be nice to have. Yeah, never know. Show you. So I ordered these brushes. I've got a polish on me. I've got a whole bunch of brushes over here in a jar and a lot of them, most of them are the Bundle Monster art brushes because I do like them. Um, this does still say Bundle Monster and I'm sure that they're getting rid of some of that stuff they'd like to clear out and completely change their, you know, rebranding their names. Um, but I didn't even realize this came in a case, which I won't use it. I'll just stick it in a jar over here, but I'll get rid of my old brushes that are falling apart. Um, so it comes in this case and you can see all the brushes. What I really liked about these brushes is they all have a dotting tool on the end, a different size dotting tool. This is going to be a fantastic cleanup brush to make stripes with. And that's a tiny little dot. Um, this is kind of one of my favorites, I think, because I really like the small one for coloring in negative spaces. And it has just, oh, there's no ball on there. And the clasp is magnetic, so that's nice too. And I got some um, vinyl decals. I don't ever really do these, so I thought I'd grab some. I really like this pattern. And Jill had given me some before, and I used them. Um, but I don't think I did a video with them. So I wanted to show you how to use the um, final decals if you didn't know already. I'll show you on a mat and my nail. We're not going to do that today. I'm just going to show the other plates I got. Um, this one I ordered a couple weeks ago and got, I haven't showed you yet, but this, that's actually what's going to be going on my nails, is this Chinese New Year plate. And I really like the patterns and um, I just really like this. It's got some cool stuff and it actually tells you what they mean and it's the year of the pig and there's a cute little pig here. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet but and I don't know if I'll film it but it'll definitely be on Instagram. This is a fruit plate. These are available now. This is M028. I didn't even tell you what the heck that one was. Typical of my channel. Um, M044. So this is really cute. It's a layering with watermelon. So you would do this, then that. So you could do these pink or red and those green. And um, oh, these are citruses, so lemons or oranges, lemons or limes, I guess, and the leaves. And then each one individually, that's kind of cool. The pineapple, that's one I really like that it's, you know, layered. I think I have some other layering fruit plates, but I just went ahead and got it because I thought it was cute. And then this one is... 29 and this is like kitchen patterns so like backsplash patterns but I think it's so pretty and you can layer that too so you could layer this and this and I just love that stuff all right that's all I got for you today and if you want me to do a little more in-depth 
showing you how to shrink and stretch I will that's just something you kind of have to work at and practice on your own just remember don't use a clear one because you will probably tear it <laughs> yeah Who told you that? Auggie. Auggie. Yeah, there's an Auggie. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Right. And did you want a snack? Uh oh, you dropped two. You know what that means. Well, I don't think it's anything to get mad about. And daddy did what? Oh, what did he do that for? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why either. <laughs> well, what about Augie? <laughs> yeah, he's a crazy dog. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, you got two of them, my mom's brother. Can I have one? Mm. No. Him said no. 